Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Saturday, August 10th, 7.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. The geomagnetic storm watch continues. 12 hours ago, it appears as if the first CME made impact, but did very little to push the plasma speed anywhere. And well, we're still waiting for potentially a dud. Keep calm. It's boom time. Did you hear the double arch at Glen Canyon National Recreation Area has collapsed and they're blaming it on erosion? Wow, not climate change. I, I couldn't have guessed that one. But there is flooding from the after effects of Superstorm Debbie and that flooding occurs in mostly Pennsylvania here. Flooding affects Susquehanna neighborhood and Lycoming County in Pennsylvania. Most of these are central Pennsylvania regions. And here's the forecast. Flash flood threats in the Mid-Atlantic and Southwest and fire weather threat in the Northwest. Showers and thunderstorms with heavy rain will create areas of flash flooding in the Southeast, Virginia through the Carolinas and Southern California into the Southwest. Isolated severe thunderstorms are possible over parts of the Intermontane West and into the High Plains. Hot and dry conditions continue to pose fire weather threats, especially in the Great Basin so heed the warnings and click on your county for more information. We do have a tropical system that may develop over the next few days. And here are the early tracks of Atlantic Invest 98. So for in about three days, it will start to affect the Leeward Islands and then make a hook up here into the Atlantic along the coast. The bad news is that it's showing up in the GFS model, making landfall here on New England on Monday, August 19th, as maybe a Cat 1, Cat 2 storm actually making landfall here in southern Maine. It's insane. So we'll keep a close eye on the system as it appears to be going to rafe the Bahamas here as it makes its way up the coast and potentially turns back in here towards the northeast. Overall, the precipitation will be lingering on the east coast. Another quick system, a clipper moving in from Canada into up New York State on Monday, but no real severe weather threats in the coming days, just some really good monsoonal pattern in the Four Corners region, as you can see there as the models move through. This is the Four Corners region. Seismic update, huge rumbler kicking off in Dolinsk, Russia, 6.5 magnitude at very deep depths, 406.5 kilometers. Nobody felt that baby, but is it another precursor of some big activity down here? Perhaps on the Japan trough? What is going on here? Is this a pre-shock for a huge rumbler off of Kamchatka or maybe Japan? Keeping a close eye on it, the mega earthquake warning is still in effect. Worldwide Volcano News, Sabankaya puffing to 24,000 foot today. Semaru on the list, Liwatobi to 9,000 foot. We've got Swanos Hima coming in on the list. Ibu puffing as well. Dukono to 8,000 feet. Fuego to 14,009. Wow, that's pretty specific. And here is an update on the Reykjanes Peninsula Svartsvengi volcano. Seismic swarm and ground inflation continue. The eruption is imminent any day now. So we're keeping a close eye on that for you. Swanosima to 4,000, Sabankai to 22,000, Liwa Tobi, 11,000 foot puff, Dukona to eight, Ibu to eight, White Island puffing today, continuous low level eruption with thin volcanic cloud to 5,000 feet as we wait for an eruption on Iceland. Fuego to 15, Sangay to 23,000, Liwa Tobi to 11, Raventador, 15,000 foot puff today. And that wraps up, well, Sabankaya wrapping up the list as we move into the 11th. A quick journey over to Solar Ham for space weather shows, well, giant sunspots directly facing us and nothing happening. In fact, AR 377 and 3780 have shot coronal mass ejections at Earth. Well, and nothing is still happening. How do you like them apples? The three-day geomagnetic forecast is still showing geomagnetic storm tonight, G2, and then tomorrow night, G2. So we'll keep a close eye on the telemetry as nothing has developed at all 
Oh, we do look at that little uptick. We're now at 475 kilometers per second. Pretty embarrassing telemetry. So no chance for Aurora anytime soon. Uh, but keep your eye on the Discover Solar Wind. We will link it below. If you see a quick spike up like this, any bigger, we could be in geomagnetic storm tonight. Now, could two NASA astronauts be stuck at the space station until next year? Yeah, they just don't want to write that headline. What you need to know is that Boeing, Boeing is gone. And they certainly will not be part of any space program anytime soon. After a seven-year delay and finally launching two astronauts safely into space, perhaps uh, when they got to the space station, they discovered over seven leaks, helium leaks and other problems. And this has been ongoing for almost a decade. Boeing is a failing company and I wouldn't want to have to sit on any other planes, in particular, any starship. So it looks like February of next year, Elon Musk has an opportunity to go save these astronauts. And well, let's see what, how it develops. Breaking news, a paper coming out today. Well, no, two days ago, I believe. Yeah, the 8th of August. A long section of serpentinized depleted mandal, peridotite. Yeah, the deepest ever, ever samples of rock from Earth's mantle have been unveiled. The only problem is when I read the article and I read the paper, it's not true. We've known about these ophiolites for decades. I studied them at university, at Temple University, uh, when I took petrology. And so I think this is just a bunch of uneducated authors. How, how could that be? writing about topics that they're unaware of, which is pretty typical of science these days. Hey guys, if you didn't know, Lee and I will be at the 35th annual Crestone Energy Fair with Alien Allen, September 14th and 15th. The theme is Rooting F Forward. It's a free event in Crestone, Colorado, one of their biggest. And join us this fall for two days of education and entertainment for free, sharing innovative, sustainable, and regenerative ideas in construction, lifestyle, and community. Lee and I will be spearheading the permaculture tents where we'll be teaching seed saving all weekend. We'll also have Leah's jewelry and some products up that you can purchase to support our endeavors. Plants need millions of years to recover from past climate warming. According to all the headlines, going across all the mainstream media. This is more fear-mongering based on nothing. Uh, the Earth has only been warming since the 1850s, since the Little Ice Age, and the little less one degree C warming certainly will not require millions of years to recover from, plast, from past warming. It only takes one winter to recover from anything that happened the year before. These people are charlatans and liars. You want to know more? Join Leah and I uh, over at Magnetic Reversal News in a few minutes where we dissect, trust the science and the difference between science and the science. In the second half of the show, we'll be talking about some breaking science coming out on the archaeoastronomy of Gobegli Tepe as a cometary warning. How do you like them apples? And if you think the world is falling apart, you might be right. Why not hedge your bets and buy some seeds so you can grow food in a time where, well, there just might not be stores. The cheapest way to get seeds and the best seeds available on the planet come from the Alliance of Native Seed Keepers. All the seeds are non-GMO, open pollinated, and seed savable. Cultivate your cart and buy some of the best seeds on earth at the lowest prices, $2 per pack. Get $25 or more. It's free shipping. Add our coupon code ORP2024. Well, and get another 10% off. It's basically free. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share the video and join us over at Magnetic Reversal News for an amazing scientific expose on, well, everything that's happening right now. We love each and every one of you. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the Al Gore rhythm and be safe. That's a boom. We'll see you in Cresto.